brothers and sisters in Christ, when you allow someone who calls themselves a minister, a pastor, a prophet, whether male or female, to speak over your life, you better be sure that that person is from the Lord. You better know the scriptures for yourself and see if what that person is saying matches the word of God. You better be prayerful and discerning and willing to speak to other Christians about their opinion on this particular person or ministry. You will do well if you have an elders or a more mature brother or sister in the Lord to, to guide you and give you an opinion that may be different from your own about this particular person or ministry. That's very, very important. I never allow anyone to speak into my life, whether in person or online. Never. If I have not first discerned them, if I have not first heard the Lord, if I have first not fasted, if I have first not consulted my elders about this particular person or ministry. That being said, the last couple of days I added some people in my anointed Christians list. And I'll get to that in a minute. But I subscribe to a lot of channels that I feel will benefit your walk with Christ. And I tested these channels, I discerned them, I discerned these people, heck, I even spoke to some of them. And these people are of the Lord, but don't take my word for it. Take God's word for it. And take your word for it. Discern. Know the scriptures for yourself. Never ever just blindly listen to someone. Don't ever blindly listen to me. Always. Do your own research. And the utmost, worship God and pray to Him. So Christians, if you look to your right, you'll see a list. And on that list are awesome brothers and sisters in Christ that have helped me in my walk with the Lord phenomenally. Now, everybody who I subscribe to helped me in my Christian walk. And they are amazing. However, the people on this list, and I will update it, maybe once every couple weeks, or twice every month, because this list shows the people that I'm currently listening to. Um, for example, Paul Washer, always, and the greatest apologist that I've ever listened to is Cliff Natchley, Woody Bauckham, Ken Hoven, and Ravi Zacharias. They are phenomenal. However, I only have Cliff Natchley's YouTube handle on under the Anointed Christians list because I'm only currently listening to him right now. He is the no no. He is patient and intelligent and he can theologically and intelligently speak about Christian principles to non-Christians in a way that's uplifting yet respectful yet understandable so I just adore listening to him also people who can hear from the Lord like Doug Perry and Michael Criswell. Doug Perry's YouTube handle is FOTM1. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. I have Michael Criswell's book. He's actually also very nice. Those ministries will really teach you how to get that deep and personal relationship with the Lord. Another thing. Conspiracy theories. They can get your mind all twisted up. I don't listen to conspirators or truthers who continuously cuss. I don't listen to truthers who have a skewed view of the kingdom of God. Don't think, oh, because they think that Jesus doesn't exist or Jesus is not the son of God. That, But their information is right. No, no. 
that their the unbelief of the true principles of God will seep into what they the knowledge that they give out on YouTube or in person or whatever ministry it will seep out those two go hand in hand what someone believes and what they see out of their mouth and what they teach goes hand in hand and is very very important okay and number three I never listen to a truther who I haven't first discussed with the Lord about okay a call for an uprising phenomenal phenomenal truther he yells but doesn't cuss and he truly cares and he's is a true believer and his faith is and his will to push for people and souls is so inspiring Jay Myers documentaries Jay makes the most amazing documentaries on the occult and Mr. E he speaks about the transgender well not the transgender issue but the fact that Hollywood and the elites trick us into thinking some people are, are female when they're really males and so is that transgender? do I <laughs> is that transgender? yeah homosexuality and trans yeah that's yes <laughs> That's transgender, yes. He talks about transgenders in Hollywood and how you can tell a real female from a male. Um, and it's very, very interesting and it's very, very, very well documented. So make sure you check it out. Last but not least, art. Full of eyes is the most captivating. artistic animation of Jesus Christ I have ever seen and come across thus far. There's another ministry though. Let me look for it. Another ministry. It's in my channels. Yeah, it's in my subscription. But I didn't add it to my Noted Christians list because I don't continue I don't listen to them right now. <laughs> I gotta find it. Okay, I found it. <laughs> They're called The Bible Project. Their animations are just as good, very descriptive. They post a lot of videos. Um, and it's very, very entertaining. And they teach about whole Bibles and chapters. I mean, whole books and chapters of the Bible. So you should definitely check that out. I subscribe to them, so um, make sure you check out who I subscribe to you under go to channels and then look at all of my subscriptions. So, <laughs> okay, brothers and sisters in Christ, have a great day.